Beans are an important source of protein and one of the most consumed foods in Nigeria. Today, the country produces about 22 million metric tons of dried beans a year, both for domestic and export markets. However, since 2016, beans from Nigeria are banned from the European Union due to an excessive use of pesticides. The ban not only hurts Nigerian farmers, but the rest of the supply chain and Nigeria's image as well. To assist the country to respond to this challenge, the United Nations Industrial Development Organization has established an innovative traceability system called the Conduits of Excellence. Implementation has begun and quality improved already. So let us see how it works. Farmers use good agricultural practices and bring their products to a local storage, operated according to food safety standards. The goods are first tested by an accredited laboratory, and the storage operator only allows those goods that pass the tests. In case of a reject, an extension officer from the Ministry of Agriculture reviews the production process with the farmer. From the storage, quality products are handed over to the processors, who follow strict quality management procedures. Once the final product is ready, a competent authority is testing it for quality and issues a certificate. Only then can the exporter proceed with transportation, following the principle of traceability and good hygienic practices. Numerous farmers, processors and exporters, including women, have attended various workshops and were trained on the conduits of excellence. Although driven by the private sector, the inception of the conduits of excellence was a result of the effort of 46 public and private stakeholders and a strong support from the Nigerian government. Additionally, in June 2017, interested parties from the states of Kaduna and Lagos signed a letter of commitment, pledging to deliver quality and safe agricultural produce. Others are welcome to join. With the conduits of excellence, Nigeria is taking an important step towards improving its competitiveness and export capacities, as well as inclusive and sustainable industrial development. Together, we can overcome the export ban of dried beans to the European markets.